Welcome to The Bo Show, the home of faith, family, and freedom. Television is a unique medium, particularly the news and live TV medium, because presenters have to be able to work in tough conditions. Sometimes that's covering a national tragedy like a shooting or the recent earthquake in Turkey. And sometimes it may be providing on-the-fly commentary about a high-speed chase, let's say, in Los Angeles. And there's also the element of on-screen chemistry, which is to find the right balance of personalities. Many times, TV personalities have big egos because they think that they are irreplaceable and no one can do it better than them, which is usually untrue. Very few have attained legendary status other than people like Barbara Walters, Johnny Carson, or Walter Cronkite. When CNN created Crossfire and Barbara Walters created The View, we saw TV take a turn to the almost outrageous, where sincere debate often became outlandish and tended to get ratings. It was the era of Jerry Springer where if you didn't see someone throwing a chair, it wasn't interesting. So personalities became louder and prouder. Newscasters began yelling at the TV. And I guess that's <laughs> what made people like my own grandmother yell right back at it. CNN and others shifted to the far left and Fox came along and shifted right. Sometimes the personality was more important than the newscast itself. And in the process, the quality of the broadcast often got lost in the weeds of those presenting it. It's as though opinions became more important than the facts themselves. And the more these personalities stay on air, the more money they make and the bigger their egos get. As it has been said, pride comes before the fall, though. And we have seen a number of these talking head behemoths go down, such as the recent collapse of Chris Cuomo at CNN, although he now has a new show over at News Nation. Bill O'Reilly from Fox News, but he has rebounded quite resiliently. But others like Rosie O'Donnell from The View never quite rebounded. Brian Williams got suspended for lying on air, but they just stuck him over on their sister network, MSNBC, the doldrums of leftism. Chris Matthews abruptly walked off hardball. Brian Stelter lost his show at CNN, and now CNN anchor Don Lemon, once a star for the network, has been demoted due to a lack of interest and viewership from even the left of the left. He now co-hosts CNN This Morning, where he's had to join an ensemble cast of personalities, which surely irks him since he used to host alone. Lemon, who has a highly appropriate name, has just gotten more sour year after year. And when leadership changed at CNN, it was suspected that some of the hard left hosts would be edged out as the network tries to reclaim its slogan, CNN, the most trusted name in news. But December 8th proved to be a tough day for Sour Lemon and his ego, as his co-host Caitlin Collins interrupted him a few times on air. Here's a compilation of the show on December 8th. I'm going to read a lot about it. It'll be even more soon. Uh, I know. I yeah. Which I should note, the Trump team is pushing back. There are no new revelations. Plan for Harry and Meghan. Yeah. Hardashification, if that's a word. <laughs> of I think you just the made royals. Up. I think I just made that. What dog is They've this? They've multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need me to step in here? Hey, Caitlin, the CNN's Bianca Novolo. It's, it's, really it's not made for point. us. Yeah. yeah, it's a different generation. Different generation. They're trying to appeal to. I, kinda, I, I, I got to see it. them. So I'm sorry. I think. Which wow. rankled the royal family, though. So much. Yeah. Princess Diana got similar. so much more attention. Dirty. And Tony well, Blinken is speaking about that this weekend, too, about this possible deal for getting out of CNN's Frederick Plyken. Before you go to Fred, can I just add? Frederick Plyken joining us from Berlin with the new this morning. Um, we are told that uh, the, the swap happened at the Abu Dhabi airport. We're standing by for the ten, President of the United States. It's been 10 months since speak. she's been held in captivity. 8.30 um, this morning. Okay. The, um, I just, we need to also tell you, see, President Biden expected to speak at the White House at any uh, moment now. And one he thing was to briefed, watch. Stand by one second. He was briefed throughout the morning. It was a way to confirmation from Griner back in, in U.S. Uh, custody. Yeah, yeah so, we know. Yeah. And of course, conditions that she's been living through. The There's president, president of the United States is entering the room uh, with Brittany Griner's wife and wow. the vice president. Such and John, a big I'm glad moment. you were here with yeah. us. Yeah, such you. important perspective. Now, after this happened, which was not on camera, Lemon apparently screamed at Collins in a massive tantrum and tirade against her. Two sources told the New York Post that he approached her after the show and went off on her. Apparently, 
This upset her so much that she ran out of the studio. This incident made it all the way up to CNN's Chris Licht, who was not pleased. And the producer told Lemon to take the next day off to cool his jets. The next night, the trio of hosts were supposed to go to a White House Christmas party together, but they ended up trickling in separately. A source with knowledge of the incident said, quote, at this point, Caitlin wants to be on set with Don as little as possible, unquote. Now, a rep for CNN carefully spun it this way. In just three months, these anchors have created a compelling morning show that breaks news and drives the conversation. <laughs> However, previously, Don Lemon got into a dispute with his female co-hosts over the U.S. men's and women's soccer teams and their pay, arguing that the men are more interesting to watch, which is a predictable comment coming from a gay man. Perhaps it's not sexist, but it certainly would be predictable given his orientation. Lemon was given notes by producers to do less talking and allow others to speak a little more. That surely must have been another blow to his ego. It seems that their solution has been to keep Lemon and Collins away from each other, going out on assignments and having little interaction. A source said, quote, Don's a bossy guy and difficult to work with. Even he would admit that. He was a solo act before. He doesn't want to be in Destiny's Child. <laughs> Another source commented, quote, Don has an intractable ego. My understanding is he wants the show to be about him. I don't know how you fix that. It's a very difficult situation, unquote. Recall that Lemon's 10 p.m. show, Don Lemon Tonight, was axed, which is why he got moved to this morning show. Now, you would think that this move might make Lemon work harder, since a demotion, although it's not fun, is a chance to prove your merit. While Lemon denied that it was a demotion, he did tell a confidant that he was ticked that Collins had worked for the conservative Tucker Carlson created outlet, The Daily Caller, prior to joining CNN. It is clear that Lemon does not like a diversity of viewpoint. He thought he had it made in the shade at liberal CNN, but even his own audience couldn't hang with him. Now, what I saw in that video was them both talking over each other. It is clear that neither of them are used to this. Lemon wants to have all the talk time and be solo. And Collins was a White House reporter used to a press room and interrupting to get her question in and now is having a hard time adjusting to a talk show. It's clearly not her forte. So I see fault on both of their parts. The chemistry is just not there. But what takes this to a whole new level is Lemon's tirade against her in front of CNN colleagues. This is unprofessional and it's unacceptable. It is unethical as well. You can address issues like this by speaking to producers or even the co-host herself. But to egotistically chide her as if she dare not ever talk while he is talking is childish and the height of unprofessionalism. This situation actually hit home for me quite a bit. There have been situations in my career in which I've been interrupted on air, but intentionally so, in order to shut me up because the others did not like what I had to say. And when you're a talking head, your job is to provide your analysis in a coherent, passionate, succinct, but respectful way. But what I learned is others may not have that same philosophy or respect. You know, basic rule of any discussion is not to interrupt someone, but rather wait till they have finished speaking and then respond. And there's nothing worse than watching people interrupt each other on TV, but it has become commonplace. In some cases, interruption is a lack of professionalism, but it can also be very, very intentional. I've been berated both on air and off air. I have to tell you, it's extremely unpleasant. No one should have to work in a toxic environment. But when you have big egos, on air talent will think themselves big as kings. And the precedent that has been set is that minorities, racially or sexually, are getting lighter treatment. Don Lemon is not a talented anchor. He's not engaging. He's not welcoming or affable or charming. He's not even intellectual. So he serves no purpose. The reason he hasn't been fired is because of his skin color and sexual orientation. This is the myth of white privilege. 
Any other host, especially white, male, straight, Christian, would have been fired or indefinitely suspended for the behavior that Don Lemon exhibited. But he gets a pass. <laughs> and you can bet that this ain't the first time that this has happened. The sources for the New York Post all seemed to indicate a certain personality trait that Lemon has, that he has a reputation for being difficult to work with. Most of the memoirs of the revolving door of conservative hosts of The View have recounted how awful it was to work there, from Candace Cameron Bure to Abby Huntsman to Elizabeth Hasselbeck to Meghan McCain. Their liberal colleagues treated them like crap, and worse yet, the producers and the network allowed it. Because remember, they want the conservative opinion to be the most pilloried and underrepresented. So they do that by allowing the ganging up on the one host. Whoopi Goldberg is still an integral part of The View in spite of the many racially stupid things that she has said. But they won't fire her. Joy Reid at MSNBC, same thing. Don Lemon is CNN's untouchable. Sure, you can demote him and put him on an unwatchable morning show, but his personality alone makes it unbearable. And it's just obvious that he's not a team player. So CNN has put him in his worst role yet, where he will fail, because he couldn't succeed by himself, and now you stick his big ego with two females who will be chirping him, because they too are trying to make their marks, and it becomes hard to watch. And the ratings have proven that. When I told you that Lemon isn't very talented, you could argue that that's subjective. But don't take my word for it. Listen to Morgan Freeman take Don to school on racial issues. But it's hard to, when you say that to some people, because they say, oh, there you go with a pull yourself up by the bootstraps thing, and you know, you're just being respectable. Not everybody can do that. Well, everybody can. Everybody doesn't. Courage, courage is the key to life itself. There are a lot of people who are born in situations where they say, well, I just, I'll never get out of this. So. They won't. Uh, I say to people who say, well, I, I would like to have done so and so and so. Some of you could have done it. So, well, I couldn't get out of here. Man, the bus runs every day. 